Hi everybody, welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. I've just done a Dutch pour heart and I loved it, absolutely loved it. I put a little ribbon of paint down in a heart shape, blew it out with my breath, really happy with it. So I'm gonna go one step further. I'm going to do a painting very similarly, but with three hearts, a long canvas, a big heart in the center and a smaller heart either side. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little bit crowded on the canvas. So I've got to really, really work hard at not putting too much paint on because that would just ruin it. Um, but I think if I can pull it off, it will look pretty cool. Um, so let me show you, let's get started. So you can see on my canvas, three hearts. I just tried the paw and filmed it, but it just looked a bit of a mess. The hearts were too small for this size canvas. It's such a shame. I had three beautiful little hearts, but they just, they were pushing against each other, just far too small. So I've scraped it. Um, I just, I'm just not happy with it. There's no point keeping something if I'm not happy with it. So I've got a change of plan. I'm going to use the same colours that I had in mind for this pour, but I'm just going to do um, a more regular Dutch pour. I think probably an explosive Dutch pour. And then I'm going to embellish it with a heart in the centre. And I think I'll feel much happier. So the colours that I was using for this, um, I've got a very pale pink I've mixed up here. I've got um, some bronze, some white i have prussian blue and then i've also got some pink i think i put this pink in pink dark so bright pink and then pale pink so this was the predominant color so i think i'm going to put some of this white down i oh, sorry this pink down pale pink down so that's going to be the main color i'm going to just blow that out i think a little bit but not fully right let's put some of these other colors down so i'm going to start from the center and i'm just going to do some sort of starburst effects to create almost like an explosion of the colors i haven't gone right to the edge because i'm obviously going to be blowing this paint off the edge so I, it's just a waste of paint so some bronze brighter pink I think half the reason as well can you see that the colors are sinking a little bit I think the colors were sinking into the pink so I think actually that's probably why it wasn't really working all right that's quite a lot of color now Right, let's blow this out and see what sort of design, what colour we get. Right. is so pretty I feel like I messed it up slightly there I think I'm going to add a little bit more pale pink in there but wow so you've got more intense color in the middle and then it's paler and softer at the edge that is so pretty just not quite happy here I'm just going to add a little bit more of the softer colors in and just blow that bit again I think 
problem lies when you the colours overlap and then you get this sort of ripple and wave effect right at the edge. So you have to blow over it again to try and get rid of that. The edge is better, but I now don't like this middle bit. There's loads and loads of cells. There's less cells there now, but that hopefully will come up over the next few minutes. The colours are stunning. Right, that is blending in really quite nicely now. So I've pulled all the colours into the centre. I'm just going to touch the centre because there's quite a bit of paint pooling there and it actually creates a really nice, neat little kiss right in the centre there. I'm really, really happy with this. Really pretty. Oh, I've just seen another bit though. That's really pooling there. So I'm going to blow over that bit again, probably with my breath, actually. Um, it's, can you see, instead of it going straight out, it's there. So I've obviously blown over this corner and then that's the edge that's rippled. Let's just put a little bit more of the pail down and then blow that off because I think it's, it's going to look a bit darker. pretty i am so glad my first idea didn't work because i love it this is absolutely beautiful let me show you the center to start with so i've got a beautiful little kiss there where all the colors are just drawn together what i'll probably do in about an hour or so is come back and touch that again just to draw the colors back in together because it's quite fluid paint it loses its structure a little bit look at these incredible incredible cells and lacing and effects and it gets paler and softer towards the edge which I'm really really happy with really love that the colors are fabulous together absolutely beautiful colors you've got that burst of bright pink in there but it's not too much so it's basically pink pale pink navy blue or Prussian blue and that bronze so so pretty what I will do, incidentally, there's a lot of paint there on my worktop. I will um, I will um, mop that up, not mop it up, scrape it up and put that into a pot. So I'll actually have another colour there. So it looks like a lot of waste, but actually I will use that on my next pour. Um, and then it's a new colour. It's a custom colour. Um, love these little lines. So pretty. There's such interesting shapes. So actually really happy it went wrong first time because I'm loving this one. So I've definitely been on a bit of a journey with this painting. Um, I had some idea. What I've got is entirely the opposite, but I'm really happy with it. I was thinking of embellishing this with a heart when it dried, but it would be such a shame because it is so pretty. Um, let me show you up close. I didn't end up touching the centre again because I just think it looks quite natural. It's got a little kiss there in the middle, but it is quite natural. Um, so just look at all the cells and all the lacing. So if I embellish the heart over the top, I think it would just it would just spoil it because you wouldn't be able to see all the beautiful details underneath in quite the same way. Love how it's much more intense in the centre and then it just fades to this, this paler section here. It's so pretty. Um, but the best bit is that bronze. Look at this. It just comes alive. It is so bright so iridescent especially that bit in the center 
really pretty. So just loving, loving these colours. So please let me know what you think. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you like the painting or if you've enjoyed watching the video. Take care. Bye.